how Ardian Dvorani offered his service to capture the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court is composed of nine members, three appointed by the President, three by the Assembly, three by the High Court. The Constitution states, the President, the Assembly, and the High Court elect the members in sequence, one after the other. The first vacancy is filled by the President, the second by the Assembly, the third by the High Court. The Constitutional Court ceased to exist as some judges completed their tenure, whereas the rest failed the vetting process. However, the collapse of the Constitutional Court was mainly due to the blocking of the Justice Appointments Council for two years, with the purpose to appoint Ardian Vorani as its chair. The JAC is a collegial body tasked with assisting administratively the President, the Assembly, and the High Court to elect the members of the Constitutional Court. Each vacancy has to be filled in sequence and according to criteria provided for in the Constitution and the Law on Constitutional Court. The majority blocked the JAC functioning in 2017 and 2018, arguing that its members had to first pass the vetting process. However, once Dvorani became JAC chair, vetting was no longer a condition for JAC functioning. From January 15, 2019 until now, Dvorani has not published any of the JAC's 32 meeting transcripts in open violation of the law. The Ombudsman's right to participate in JAC's crucial decision-making has been denied in violation of the Constitution and the law. Due to total lack of transparency, Dvorani was able to manipulate the process, leading to unjust disqualification of many candidate judges. From a list of 37 applicants, Dvorani managed to handpick only six candidates running for four vacancies, imposing only a limited number of judges for appointment, turning the process into a forced appointment. The Constitution and law require three different candidates for each vacancy. On September 21, 2019, the JAC approved the list of six candidates for all four vacancies in the Constitutional Court in the following order. President, Arta Vorpsi, Elsa Tosca, Besnik Muci, Regleta Panayoti. Assembly, Arta Vorpsi, Elsa Tosca, Besnik Muci. President, Arta Vorpsi, Fiona Papayorgi, Elsa Tosca, Marcida Jaferlari. Assembly, Arta Vorpsi, Fiona Papayorgi, Elsa Tosca. Clearly, this is a fictitious competition imposing the appointment of pre-selected candidates. But Dvorani's most flagrant violation of the Constitution and law is his maneuvers to personally violate the deadlines and constitutional sequence of appointments. September 21st, the JAC approved the ranking of candidates for each vacancy in the following order. President, Assembly, President, Assembly. September 22nd, JAC decisions are published on the High Court website in the same order. President, Assembly, President, Assembly. On October 8, 2019, Dvorani, upon his own initiative, sent to the President the candidates lists for two vacancies simultaneously. President, President. With a delay of six days and only after President's official request to be informed, he sent also to Parliament the candidates lists for two vacancies simultaneously. Assembly, Assembly. Why did Dvorani intentionally send the lists to Parliament on a later date than the President? The Constitution forbids the President to appoint two constitutional judges at the same time. The Constitution deadline of appointment for the Assembly and the legal deadline of appointment for the President is 30 days.
Why didn't Vorani submit the list of candidates for the four vacancies? Two of the president and two of the assembly on the same day. Because the president would immediately appoint the first constitutional judge as it happened. Whereas the assembly would delay its vote to the last minute and deliberately violate both the sequence of appointment and the deadline as it happened. Note that the Assembly's 30-day deadline for appointment is stipulated in the Constitution. Whereas for the President, the deadline is stipulated only in the law. The legal deadline for the President cannot overturn the constitutional provision for appointments in sequence. The appointment deadline is calculated only if no constitutional obstacles exist to exercise this right. The President, in his official documents dated August 31, 2019, August 10, 2019, and November 5, 2019, urged Dvorani to abide by the provisions and sequence set by the Constitution and law in order to avoid institutional clash. The sole purpose of the Varani scheme was to illegally hand over to majority another member of the Constitutional Court by self-appointing the pre-selected candidate, Arta Vorpsi. Dvorani, only on his personal initiative, went as far as illegally publishing her appointment in the official Gazette on November 9th, 2019, Saturday, a day off. This candidate shocked the entire public opinion by legalizing her fictitious swearing in office to a notary. While the Albanian constitution clearly states that every judge of the constitutional court is sworn in to the president of the republic. Only Dvorani could degrade the integrity of the vital process of establishment and functioning of the constitutional court. For this reason, the president of the republic filed a lawsuit against him on two criminal offenses. The first, acquisition of title or state duty. The second, abuse of office. The monoparty parliament demanded the establishment of an unlawful, anti-constitutional and political constitutional court under its control. <laughs> 